Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Now, just a quick one for Friday, for a change, we're in the quick. We've been to Oasis, but... I'll be back. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. Boomin is back in the room. Okay, so... So, you guys aren't going to see these maybe until after this Christmas. video. Christmas. Shut your mouth. We don't know much about Instagram and how it works. You probably gathered that much. But anyway, Bob's got his own Instagram account, so if you just do a search for Bob, hi Bob, or something like that. Robert, you might Robert, hi Bob. With, with, a, with a, an underscore between. Well, it is. Saturday and we're in a typically Spanish town around about 20 minutes from Torrevieja called Almorari and we're here for a special event today. We are, yeah. And actually Andy's got he's got quite an honour because he's been asked to participate in this special event. Kind of. Which yeah but it's uh, not a regular thing for foreigners to get asked to do is it really? No. So I'll introduce you to Monsi shortly. Monsi's my Good Spanish things. teacher. Yeah. Um, and she is, I believe, secretary or something like that for part of her group that she's in uh, of the Christians, part of the Moors and Christians celebration, shall we say, or festival, fiesta? It's a fiesta. So the Moors and Christians fiesta, or the Moros y Cristianos, as it would be said in Spanish, is a fiesta that celebrates a period of time in Spain called the Reconquistador or the Reconquista, no the Reconquista, the Conquistador is somebody that does it. Oh, right. The Reconquista was the time in history between I believe the 18th and the 15th century where the Moors or the, the people from um, across in Morocco, the Muslims, were had, had taken over Spain and the Reconquista is when the Christians took Spain back from the Moors. So it's the, the fights and the battles that went off between the Moors and the Christians during that period of time. And they've been celebrating it here in Spain since the 16th century, so for a long, long time. It's generally celebrated in the southern Valencia area, but other parts of Spain will celebrate it as well, but it's more common here than it is anywhere else. Now, we'll not put all of it or all of what's involved in this weekend's vlog but there will be a separate video so if you want to see more of it you'll be able to see more of it on that we've been to this one once before i loved it and uh, it's actually going to be part of the procession that's, that's kind of but i'll be running around with a camera and the gopro so hopefully the footage is going to be okay uh and all i've got to do now is find out where monty lives i thought it was down this street or was it down the next one i'm not sure it's one or the other yeah, generally speaking if at this at this fiesta they all dress up in really elaborate costumes there's lots of um, fireworks going off I've been told Lights, to fetch a change of clothes because apparently I'm going to sweat like hell. Yeah, so, um, and they're all dressed up as something different every year, so I'm not sure what they're going to be dressed up as this year. But the group that I'm with is, they're, they're, they're dressed and going as Christians. And then typically after the parade, they have a big party in the street and we're invited to that as well, where they get food and drinks and everything, so let's see. Now this group's doing something special this year and we'll, I'll try, I might have to do with the audio live over the top of it later after it's done. They are real knives. <laughs> and that is real beer. <laughs> and also typical of Spanish towns, you'll find a lot of people live in apartment blocks. It's really common. It's not like you get back in. Well, it's like, in, in, yeah, in a, I mean, in cities you would do, but even in little towns and villages, they're like their apartment blocks here in Spain, don't they? Right? But their apartments, generally speaking, are huge. Yeah, typically 100 metres square plus easily yeah. for a two or three bedroom. Yeah, Maddie's got an apartment in uh, Los Montesinos and hers is over 100 square metres. Yeah, and I used to rent one in Montesinos and that was the same. So I'm going to look like a monk. Each groom have these big tents set up and that's where they have the fiesta afterwards. But we're going to go and try and find a seat now. Andy's got changed. We can insert a picture just here to show you what it looks like. 
and we need to go and find um, a seat so that we can watch the fiesta going by. Monty just uh, explained to me what's going to happen in the parade, so I don't get it all mixed up. Uh, it's going to be quite a theatrical experience, and the things that they're going to do today haven't been done, as far as they're aware, in a Moors and Christian parade before. Okay, so there's seven seven groups of Christians, so there's probably going to be some number of groups of Moors as well. But hopefully it'll be a good spectacle, uh, and you guys will... Uh, I'll enjoy it as much as I have in the past when I've seen it. I mean, when I've been before, they got ducks and geese walking down with the parade and everything. It was typically Spanish, typically nuts, typically the sort of thing that you won't necessarily see somewhere else, and it's not the sort of thing you'd see if you were just going to Benidorm for two weeks. Now, first I was dressed as a Knights nice Templar, correct? See? I'm trying not to get you on this. You look great. 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 Ah, bien. Gracias. Yeah, see. She taught me a little bit of Spanish. Look at this. Give us a, a twirl. <laughs> and there's going to be loads of them. So we've got a seat right on the front. Yep, you settled. It's a bit warm. I think uh, Andy and the rest of the parade are going to be mega hot, aren't they? Yeah. I've had to put my glasses on because I can't see what I'm looking at. Do you think the chairs are going to cost you about four euros? Yeah, each? they'll come around and collect money off of us in just a little while. So if you come to one of these sort of fiestas, just get yourself a chair. Sorry about my fingers in the way there, I'm a bit cack handed. Um, get yourself a chair and they'll come around and collect some money off of you when they're doing the rounds, won't they? So that's it for now, we'll show you a little bit what's going off. There's a breeze, if you can hear us, it's lush. Now, a lot of the roads have been closed off. There's gonna be a lot of loud music. The whole town takes part. Now, I'm gonna turn around in a second and if you can see in the distance, this is the main route. He's here behind me. That's the main street, the parade's going down. And you can see, probably in the distance, I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in. Um, it's a good old walk. And there's all sorts of different bands here, brass bands. Uh, it's going to be a right racket later, I'm looking forward to this. So these people have all just been to a church service and they've all come out with the candles.
Sweden. I think his life gives him away. He did want to bring his lightsaber, but they said no. <laughs>
Happy Sunday. Now, things are a little bit changed. We're cooking. Cooking with Helen. Now, it was Patricia B that started this. So, and she's saying, could we do a Cooking with Helen video or somebody else mentioned a cookbook. A new, a new YouTube channel, Cooking yeah. with Helen and Co. Now, a book exists. Put a comment if you're interested in seeing if you can get hold of a copy oh, because it's for she may kids. or may not it's make for, it available. The book was for the kids. It's just my recipes. There you go. Now, Cooking with Helen. Here we have weighing scales, here we have measuring uh, measuring spoons, yeah, you don't need any of that. We never use them anyway. It's just slap it in and try. Yeah. There, that's it. We've been, to, we've been to macro. Some of what we're going to do today is from our road trip. This meat way. actually looks awful when you see it, look, because it looks like it's fatty and horrible. This is pork cheeks. It's called caviada, which is one of Andy's favourites. You'll have heard him going on about it all the time. It's not the most expensive cut of meat. If you cook it long and slow, it absolutely drops to pieces. Now, in there, there are one, I think two, about three, eight four, five, six, there's eight. I'm going to do all of them. Now, this was reduced in macro. And it was reduced to 627 per kilo and there's just under a kilo in there so it does that this did actually work out cheaper than buying them from say Mercadona where I tend to pay around about four euros ish for four so we've saved a couple of euros but Macro is one of those places where it's the first time we've been I've been over here and You've got to be careful with what you're buying because sometimes, by the time you've had a diva and everything else, sometimes you're cheaper off and milk it on. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. I'm going to do it with some onions, some garlic. Um, I'm going to put some stock, a little bit of stock in it, maybe a little bit of tomato fruit and some cream and see what that tastes like. Yeah, but low and slow. We're having tapas if you haven't gathered. Uh, in Seville, we had. Oh, it was in Seville, yeah. Tortilla. In whiskey sauce. Tortilla de patatas, so Spanish omelette in whiskey sauce. What else was there in whiskey sauce? Ah, it's a pork. Yeah, yeah. it's a pork in whiskey sauce. We don't like whiskey. I don't think the kids like whiskey. So we like to buy some whiskey today. The whiskey sauce is absolutely stunning. It that, would that probably. That's whiskey with five euro something. So it's a five cents a bottle. Five. Like also in Seville. I keep pausing because I have to think, was it in Seville or not? Yes, it was in Seville. I've seen this advertised on Facebook lots. We tried some in Seville and it's naughty, as in you can drink it neat with ice and it's, it's hard, isn't it? It's just like, it so needs to, like our limoncello, actually. Yeah, a bit like our limoncello. It needs to go, I think that needs to go in the freezer and stay in the freezer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but basically, Bombay Sapphire, you guys have done an absolute blinder with this. Also new in Mercadona. We used these for paella and everything else. And you'll see when we were in Neja, a way of cooking these, which was unique to say the least. But Mercadona has brought out some new ones. So instead of the usual ones, these are actually picante, spicy. So we're going to try some of them today. So, pork cheeks, browned off, onion, Got, yeah, onion garlic, garlic, chicken stock. I've left the garlic really, really chunky. Okay. Um, chicken stock, I've put some whole, whole grain and normal mustard in there. Thought it might go nice together. Um, I might put a little bit of sherry in as well. Or, no, a bit of brandy. I'm going to put a bit of brandy into it. Okay. Just because I can. That makes kind of sense. Usually it's a case of brown them off, chicken stock, a bit of garlic, paprika uh, and usually probably some gravy granules as well. Oh we need to get the brandy, Bob's got it. There, that in it. Oop, bit of and yeah, Helen's just splashed it all over herself. And everywhere else. That'll do. Hey, look at, look at this, eh? Always we get a teaspoon. He always gets himself a big lad spoon. Well, that's because of a big lad. 
That is nice. Bob's been and got out the garden some homegrown herbs. Rosemary. It smells lush. Um, we're mixing it with chicken and turkey mince. Make some, make some patties. And Helen's already started on the um, tortilla de patata with the potatoes and the onions. There's these chopped herbs, fresh herbs, smell nice. It's got a bit of onion powder there. Some of the uh, Italian seasoning we got from Rome a couple of years back, which is cracking, and it's gonna mix, mix the patties up. So they're simmering away quite nicely. Browning these off and there's onion and garlic in there. Bob's idea is to a bit of beer. So we'll try a bit of beer and some tomato cream and um, something from America. The, the patties are done. So they're cooking along nicely. They've got the beer in them, as we said. Um, I did add, when I was doing the onions, some black pepper, crushed black pepper and some pimienton, the uh, picante. That's that chilli powder. Yeah. Uh, we've also added the dried chilies that were brought back from America, so I know that's going to be a bit. Um, this is this is basically just going to be spicy. Sure. Bit of wine, bit Come of hendos, on. and a bit of tomato for eat. Come if on. you can hear me. This is how you butterfly the prawns. So my dad's already taken the heads off for me. So then you leave the the last link of the tail on it. So these are raw; they're not cooked. Throw that away, take that horrible bit out there because we all hate that. We all call it a vein, but it's not, it's a it's a Ooh, sack. It's an intestine. Yeah. And then just cut not all the way through, but just sort of halfway through the prone like that. And then that's, that's a butterfly a prone. Cool. Uh Holly Jane, hi from La Mata, that looks delicious, been following you for about a year now. I love the rest of rec restaurant recommendations. Going to tour of Jeffrey tonight, so we recommend. Hang on, she just set fire to the uh, kitchen. What's up, lad? It's a cupcake. <laughs> That's one day. With one day in box. It's burning the um, alcohol. Yeah. Alcohol is, I think you've burnt the bloody cupboard. No way. Go on. Go. 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 Hey, it's okay. Good money to see that in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Hey, listen, we had tappers like that at the table. Well, I could do it putting that down, actually, because then we had to put the whole restaurant out at least, mate. Yeah. So that's a bit uh, hot. Well, I think the garlic's knackered now. Yeah, it's fine. So a cup of whiskey. Just watch for the dog because she's just it all up well, don't trip on it. There we go. <coughs> What's that? Whiskey. I thought you put a brand in it. No, it's whiskey. Sorry. So that's the whiskey sauce that Helen's doing there. But he says I'd cremated, I don't think I have. I think that's looking alright. Proofs in the tasting. Need a bit yet, no long to, to infuse. Not that much longer. And Bob. Right. Get a shovel and just try it. Get a shovel. <laughs> yeah, you got a big spoon, but you don't mean you have to fill it. I'm not filling it. It's only it's only three quarters full. See you like. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. I can't remember if that's better. You ought to be here. Don't, because we all want to come. I can't remember if that's better than the one or we had. Than the one we had. I think we it's actually, good, it's good as. The, the, we had one that was really good. It's on a par with that. And we had another one. Oh. You see, you're slagging me for setting fire to the kitchen. Right, the, the one that, that's better than the one that, at uh, Bar Cathedral. And I think it's on a par with the one at the place that we went back to. So that I need to make that with some pork, don't I? Yes. So I'm not sure how much footage I can get off the YouTube lives that we did. The problem was the GoPro we used for YouTube live melted more or less and it just went eh, gone. Couldn't even get the battery out of it. Anyway, 
Tortilla de patata is done. This is for the whiskey sauce, and I know damn well that we're going to be fighting over it. There's the whiskey sauce, which is stunning, and Helen's doing the prawns right now. So missing is the provolone. The provolone. Go on, then. <laughs> Alright, like, so oh, collapse me my desk then. Cheeky. Uh, here's the thing. Last night I had a recommended video come up on YouTube uh, for uh, basically Tour things, of things to see and doing Tour of Echo. We thought fair enough and just flicked it on as you do. And lo and behold, within 30 seconds or so, uh, I spotted Scott from The Stranger Couple, and, and we know those guys, we know Yasmin and Scott. And I thought, it's a bit strange, it's not their video. So I sent Yasmin a, a message and said, look, just have a look at this video, it's got your footage in. I didn't know if you were aware. And she's like, basically, practically the first 40 seconds or so plus is all their footage, no permission. The asked. video is only eight minutes long, by the way. Yeah. Uh, so then we carried on watching, and they'd actually lifted, took, Stolen. Stolen, yeah, that was the word I was going to use. Some of our footage from... The Flamingo Aqua Park. Thank you. Yeah, there were Madison and Francesca flying up and down the slide. <laughs> so needless to say, uh, we left a comment saying, uh, you didn't ask for permission, please set the video down. But this was a popular... Uh, yeah, very, very we popular. ...website that is advertising tourist and travel videos. Yes. Uh, long story short, We've been in touch with YouTube and it's gone. Uh, I've also been speaking with Mark and Yvonne. So what you may not know is Mark and Yvonne Between the Lakes, uh, Millie Moments, uh, Stranger Couple. We all speak with each other, and we, you know, so we all know what the crack is. We've given, you know, provided footage to some of the guys in the past, help each other out if need be. That's how it goes. So. There were none of Mike and Yvonne's footage in there, and there were none of Millie's footage in there. Yeah. There were definitely our footage in there, and there were definitely the Stranger Couple's footage in there, which I think is very, very cheeky. And I think it's a very lazy way to make a video, especially when they're profiting from it. That's yeah. just really unfair. So on the flip side of that, if you watch any videos and you think it's got us or the kids or yeah, the Stranger Couple, just let us know. Let us know, because it could be that somebody's stolen our footage again. Yeah. Not surprised, though, actually, after two years plus... And now we've done 250 videos, which is... 250 videos. Scary. Anyway, thanks for that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Yeah, if you have, don't forget. Make sure that you click the subscribe button. Every every little else. Yeah, um, for Bob. Yeah, and he'll tell us off for not saying it because it costs you nothing. Incidentally, subscribe. I should have filmed this, but he was going absolutely nuts last night, but that yeah, was when he, you can imagine what he, Bob was he doing. He were very happy, he were very happy. Yeah, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs down if you've not, and um, leave us a comment. We always yeah. like to hear from you. And no doubt you'll see us in some more from our trips away, our trip away, our road trip away, at some point in the very near future. Have and a good maybe one. a bit more America. Indeed. Yeah. Okay. Hasta pronto. Bye-bye.